So for today, we're going to be looking at the Plague Breaker stuff for the Hunters. If you guys don't know, we've already done the review video and the Shader video. They're both right here. You guys can check it out. These are basically going to be, if you guys are new, we're going to be taking individual pieces from the Plague Breaker set and then making individual sets from those pieces. So that's what I usually do when we get a new armor. We do the review video, Shader video, then the Hunter, Titan, and Warlock video. So that way you guys are aware of what you can do with it. And it's also a way for me to showcase some of my fashion. So... If you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge por portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because that also does help. Other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be using the helmet, the Plague Breaker mask, and then we're going to be using the exotic Seal Ahamkara grass. So this one is interesting considering I ended up going for a bony, like almost like natural looking monster type of thing. Okay, so let me explain because that made no sense. <laughs> so... The helmet is obviously like a bird helmet and I wanted to see if I could make something that kind of gave off that same vibe. So specifically sealed on collar grass because the fingers have that like like the they're, they're pointy. That's literally it. Um, the same thing for the boots. The boots has that pointy bit on the, the big toe and then the megalomorph vest specifically because it has that like a uh, like human anatomy like rib not ribs uh like <clears throat> the pecs. And then the uh, stomach muscles. And then the polar predator's cloak because it was fur. Or uh, more specifically feathered. So yeah, that's really it. Shader wise, Dreaming Spectrum because Megalomorph takes shaders on, as an off color, which is really annoying. So I just decided to use uh, Dreaming Spectrum to combine everything. Yeah, this is a weird one. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I just kind of went with my gut and didn't really think about this one too much. So I was like, if, it's po if it has any pointy bits that can be misinstrued like talons or claws or stuff stuff like that then i'm gonna use it because kind of that was kind of like my main focus like sure i could have done like a doctor thing but i feel like people were expecting me to do something like that so i was just like man whatever i'm just gonna do <clears throat> i knew i wanted to use the seal laham car grass because it has a uh, the 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 pointy arm or the pointy fingers and then uh, megalomorph i knew i wanted to use that because it, anatomically it, it would go really well with it and then the spectral displacer strides is the one that I was like, it's either this one or it's going to be <clears throat> uh, raid armor, <clears throat> specifically the shadow strides, because that one has like three claws or I guess talons on the foot. So it was e either way, it was just going to be kind of like this. Let me know what you guys think. This is definitely weird. There's better ways you could use a plague breaker, but I wanted to see if I could do something that looked like like a humanoid bird guys kind of thing. And for the next set, we're going to be using the plague breaker arms. I'm going to be honest, I hate these arms. If you guys saw the review video, you guys will notice that I was just clowning on these arms because quite frankly, why would you put super sharp bits on a place that you can you can stab yourself? That being said, um, I don't mind this. I think it's pretty decent. <laughs> it's just the, the shoulder pads just make me laugh, honestly. <clears throat> so for the helmet iron companion mask, for the chest piece, it's going to be the six coyote with the val hunt ornament for the iron foreigner strides for the boots and then the white wolf cloak for the cloak so i like this one a lot it's very much a like an, a european warrior type of thing because you have the swords you have the viking chest piece and the helmet as well so i actually really like this one to be honest with y'all if I were, had the choice, I would definitely use some of the pieces from the new Iron Banner set because those are going to be really, really cool. I'm really excited to use those because I have a lot of ideas for those. <coughs> but needless to say, for the shader, but for the shader, and we're going to be looking at Iron to Steel. This is one of my favorite shaders, just bar none. It's super, super cool. And overall, I don't think this looks bad by any means. I just don't think I would use the Plague Breaker arms just because I do think they look goofy. But the Hunters, let me know what you guys think. As for the next set, we're going to be using the Plague Breaker vest and the Plague Breaker cape. For the exotic, it's going to be Liar's Handshake with the Thalia's Reach ornament. So White Wolf Cal for the helmet and then White Wolf Strides for the boots. So I actually kind of like this one a lot. I would honestly just switch out the chest piece for something else if I'm being quite honest. Something... A little bit better just because i am not the biggest fan of the plague breaker vest i just think it's too visually noisy if that makes any sense um i would have preferred it if it didn't have that weird like feathery looking armor piece on the chest piece and then the three like dagger looking things honestly just just the vest would have been way better like a like a really clean looking vest would have just been way better because i think 
a lot of the things that are, that this chess piece has is just too much like it's visually just too noisy so like a really cool vest would have been way better for this but the reason i'm combining both of these pieces is because uh the plague breaker cape the actual like uh the um uh, oh my god what is it called the collar around the neck is actually part of the cloak which is very unfortunate so i was like fuck it i'll just combine the plague breaker uh chess piece and the cloak so that way i don't have to like be annoyed about it um <clears throat> white wolf strides i think was a good choice but i will say i would immediately switch out the plague breaker vest for something else because i'm trying to go for i know some people might not have noticed it but i'm trying to go for a bloodborne type of look and more specifically like a bloodborne hunter to be fair if you really wanted to go for bloodborne um there's a few things you could do i think the white wolf strides is a good choice um and i think the plague breaker cape is also a good choice because they, we do have hats like that in game the only annoying part is if i remember correctly the hat and the uh the helmet is combined together so i could be wrong about that because it's been a long time since i played bloodborne even though it is my favorite game from playstation 4 or in general but yeah uh the, needless to say this is a really good set if you want to go for a bloodborne look because there's a lot of pieces where you can legitimately make it happen um specifically the playbreaker cape and the helmet you can definitely do that or just the helmet itself with i think uh, another cloak either way i don't think this is bat shadering we're using the refurbished black armory just because i do think it looks pretty cool but again i would switch out the chess piece because i just think the chess piece is like the we weird thing out here but let me know what you guys think and then last but not least we're going to be utilizing the playbreaker strides so this one was showcased in the assassin's creed arms video if you guys haven't seen it i'll post it up right now um where i just showcase the assassin's creed arms for each of the classes and i definitely think this looks pretty cool uh really surprised myself because i genuinely don't like the arms for this i think they're pretty terrible but for the exotic we're gonna be using girl falcon and honestly that's pretty much gonna be it for armor pieces aside from little pieces like the iron pledge ornament having the, uh like the face up or not face but nose up having pure plate and then nose down having cloth uh, the boots also have steel toed boots, which is cool. And if we're being honest, the thighs also have armor. It just takes shaders differently. So overall, I think this looks really cool. Um, if you were to ask me, like, what would you switch out? It would most likely be the arms. That being said, I also would think about it because I think the arms do look really cool with this whole set because it gives off a very like minimalistic armor usage, which I really like. Specifically, what I'm talking about is the fact that um, the left arm would be my arm that I would use like for defense and for my sword as well. So that's kind of where my head goes. And the other arm would be for more uh, like other things. Maybe like I have a dagger there and it's only there for thrusting while the left hand is strictly for defending and whatnot. So yeah, that's how deep my, my fashion goes where it's like, all right, like do I see my character using this armor? What would my character use this armor for? So this is definitely more, mostly like an assassin look. Something that an assassin would wear in case they had to go into battle, but that's not the primary reason why they would be in there. Like their their whole reason would not be would not to would be not to battle, but more to like assassinate and stuff. So that's kind of where my head goes, which is why I think the Iron Pledge ornament looks really cool as well because it's hiding their whole face. So overall, I think this is a really cool set. Probably my favorite, if I'm being honest. Like, not saying all the other sets were bad by any means. I think the second one has potential to be really cool. I just want other pieces specifically from the Iron Banner set. So that way I can see if I can make it even better. The first set is more of just an experimentation that I did. And the third set, I think, is really cool. I would just switch out the chess piece. And I think that would be it. Maybe the arms for something else. But either way, like I still think it looks pretty cool. So Hunters, let me know what you guys think. Titans, Warlocks, you guys are going to be going up next. I am really excited for the Titans because I do think a lot of the sets that I made for you guys are really cool. But let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all coming to this point. Be safe. I will see you guys later.